Welcome everyone to Seekers of Sarbanath Session 23. It took us a couple of weeks to get here, but we are here. We've got everybody. Dan has a new router. Mike has a new baby. Congratulations to Mike and his Congratulations. wife. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, so he won't be joining us. It'll be a, a little while till he comes back, but uh, we're very excited for him. Uh, so what have you guys been up to for the last two weeks? Uh, you know, other than the... Uh, a Cuban Knights fiasco we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, I went to California uh, mm -hmm. with my family. Um, you know, it was, it's, it's vacation. I went to the Getty Museum. That was pretty cool. Um, but the real big news is I finished book 11 of The Wheel of Time, and I'm yeah. working on books oh, 12 right now. <laughs> How many books are there? 14. Ask Oh my lord! Okay. I, I've been going a lot faster this past week, so I really I want to finish the series. Mm. I've been on as it soon as I time. retire, I will start that one. <laughs> is there is there fourteen or fifteen? Yeah, there's fourteen. Too late for me. I'll just have to. Right, he's like, there's actually okay. sixteen. <laughs> there's fifteen if you count the prequel novel, but I'm not going to read that. Hold on, I'm counting them on my shelf. Why didn't one, you read two, that one three, first four, and then read the series? Six, just you, you don't because that's not a you don't that's read the prequel <laughs> first. Oh. No, yeah. that's not the point no, of a prequel. You're correct. you're correct. I counted them on my shelf. You are correct. That's <laughs> exactly how many there are. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <One, two. laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish that up and I'll probably read um I got Robert E. Howard's Conan like stories. I, I got like a big collection of those, so I'll probably go through those after the Wheel of Time. Nice. And then um So hmm? if the author of the Wheel of Time dies, will you still have a sense of accomplishment or is it going to be like Oh he my god, die. this is never going to... He did! Yeah. yeah. He did die. What are, are they publishing then? No, it's, it's over. The There's 14 done. books. Wait, are you... Oh, okay, and you're on the 14th now, on the 12th. I'm on the 12th. All right. But, no, he did he died finish after it? Book Was he done? No, uh, Brandon Sanderson came in and wrote the last three books, and he's doing fine. Like, it, my complaints are things that I knew I wasn't going to like. Like, Robert Jordan had a very unique and distinctive style, and it really mm. clicked with me. So it kind of mm. hurts losing that, but Brandon Sanderson's done a pretty good job of like coming in and not being too different. <clears throat> nice. I, I actually liked Brandon Sanderson quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. I, I thought that his his finish of the story was was quite well done. Yeah, I mean he's a good writer. Yeah. Like, and and I don't think I lost too much of like the character of the books in the change in authors. Right, like, yeah, I know it, it kind of depends on the person. I really liked Robert Jordan's use of diction. He had a really yes. weird way of writing, but it was also a really cool one. It was interesting, right? It grabbed your attention. Yeah, he yeah. is by far and away my favorite fantasy author when it comes to writing combat. Mm. Uh, because he'll have like, when, when he does like a group getting into a fight, it's because he was a Vietnam War veteran. It's very like quick and everything ends almost as fast as it starts like i remember there was one where rand gets ambushed walking through the streets of some city and it starts with somebody on a roof shooting a crossbow at him and the way that it's all worked into the description of the city around him you're a couple of sentences into the fight before your brain's even processed that somebody just shot a crossbow at him <laughs> right mm. and then when he does duels it's great like the ribbons in the air met stones falling from the cliff because he's just describing sword forms clashing with each other and it's so goofy but it's really fun i love those they're so great and they invariably involve somebody being like boar rushes down the mountain and they win <laughs> like boar rushes down the mountain is opaf apparently right <laughs> uh so nice congratulations on making it through yet another wheel of time book i mentioned in yep. chit chat i thought we should start with the wheel of time for uh, <laughs> for uh, uh, uh reminiscing sake i don't know for prost I, what's the word i'm looking for whatever ryan shot that down he wasn't very interested <laughs> <laughs> So we need you on Sorry, chat. next time, once I'm on, we'll we'll take over. Once there's two of us, we can mm -hmm. there we so go. easily. There we go. Yeah. I uh, loved all your elaborate questions about world building, and he was just like, "Oh, I never do that. You know, I I don't I don't do that. I don't think about this at all. Like, I, this doesn't interest me. I'm just like, okay, great, you're trying. I appreciate that, that, that it. That does that not was... surprise me at all. I actually kind of want to go listen to the stash. <laughs> it was pretty good. I was grateful because Ryan was like, oh, you know, I think this is really cool and that's very interesting. I'm like, oh, thank God Ryan is around because Neil is just shutting everything down. <laughs> I thought they were really legit good questions, but Neil is just not interested in all these things. <laughs> We'll have to, we'll have to what do you take inspirations from? Oh, I don't. I don't take inspiration from anything these days. I watch movies sometimes. Like okay, <laughs> black and white films, baby. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, awesome. Uh, Milman, what have you been up to? What's what's your last two weeks been like? Uh, okay, so I play. I started playing Final Fantasy. Sweet. Made a cat girl. Put a lot of effort into it. She looks exactly like every other game I play because I make them all look like my missus. Just for lols, so I can scream at her, and she's in chat going, "Why are you yelling at me?" And then I found out <laughs> I could be a bunny. Healthy. That definitely. Sounds Wait, is this like Final Fantasy like fourteen? Yeah, so okay. I made I made a cat girl, got to level 20, then found out, I found the first bunny girl that I've ever run into, and I was like, <laughs> you're a bunny girl, how the fuck are you a bunny girl? And I had to be a cat right. girl, and they're like, have you put the code in for your expansion? And I was like, I think so. I went online, I hadn't put my code in, and I was like, I don't want to start again, so... You can I'm buy like, a Fantasia. That's, what, that's the plan, right? Mm. Like, later on, I'll just become a, a bunny girl, <laughs> but like, at the moment, I'm just a blonde cat girl, and I'm running around shooting fireballs and then flicking to ice balls and then doing nice. all the things. Are you enjoying uh, it? I actually am really surprised that that game pulled off like MMOs really well. I heard it was rocky at the start when they mm -hmm. first came out, but they fucking nailed it. I hit level 20 in a day and finding out that I can multi-class without having to make a new character, beautiful. Oh yeah, no, you can you can max out everything in that game. It's great. And I am now a botanist, a weaver, and a cook. Oh, no. Because I was like, I want to make my own clothes and dress my bunny up the way I want to dress her up when I get there. And I want to collect the resources to do it. And I can cook food for buffs because fuck, I don't need anybody else. I'm a strong <laughs> cat girl. All right. Oh, Other than yeah. that, um, I got another Slay the Spire style game, Roguelite, that's like card based and that was fun sci-fi based you should go check it out um, i need to play slay the spire somebody gave it to me it's good like as a code it's... when it was an early access but i try not to play early access games because i just don't believe in them no it was it was good yeah this one uh, neoverse is without you know how oh you haven't played it yet but there's a on the game you pick the route you go uh -huh. this doesn't have the route it just gives you three options or four options so it's like if you go this way, you're gonna get this challenge. If you go, if you go the other way, it's it's like a harder difficulty, but you get a def different reward. But it's exactly the same, just without the mapping, right? Like normally you see like the dotted lines to where you're going. You don't need to see that shit. It's just for flavor. Yeah, both are good. Cool. Uh, I really enjoyed Slay the Spire. Only finished it like twice, and then my friends like, I'm playing on the fifth fucking difficulty upgrade and i was like fuck you all right I've, i had a hard enough time just beating the game once and then i'm playing That's this me. one and i'm i never it. want to get the like 10th level of difficulty unlocked I'm, right? I'm not a masochist i don't want my games to hurt i want to enjoy them you know that's, Is, that's not how you enjoy them no <laughs> it's not <laughs> Greg is not a Darkest Dungeon person, confirmed. I beat Darkest Dungeon. It was great. That was one of the first games I beat on stream. It was amazing. It is I, really good. And then I've this is one of the funniest it. things ever. I didn't know who the developer of the game was. The developer of the game is Red Hook. And this person kept showing up in my chat as I got to the end of the game. It's like Red Hook Mike or something. And I was like, it's very <laughs> talkative. Let's be friends with Red Hook Mike. And then like, <laughs> like a week and a half later, I looked up Darkest Dungeon because like, does it have any like... Um, like DLC or something I could get, and I was like, "Wait a minute, Red Hook, this sounds familiar." <laughs> and I put two and two together. I was like, "Nice." <laughs> One of my like three. Viewers You're the, the best time streamer, was Greg. The very Gosh. best. <laughs> Openly, and it's like the they're like, "You can't. I'm right here." I, and I remember when I beat it too. Like the first thing out of my mouth was like, "Yes, get." Fucked Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> I wish <laughs> I'd maybe phrase that differently. <laughs> nah, that's the perfect expression. Oh man, what didn't the devs like tweet at you at one point? Uh, or one for of the Darkest devs? Dungeon? I don't think so. For Hand of Fate, I thought they like clipped one of your Twitch things and Hand then of Fate and then did. and th they didn't clip it. One of the one of the like viewers did and sent it to them. Mm. And they retweeted it. It was really cool. Oh, that's that's fucking mint. It was it was sweet. Yeah, it was on one of the Pendulum games in Hand of Fate 2. And, like, I was holding my breath for whatever reason because I get really, like, wound up and, like, I have to focus, man. I gotta focus. And then, like, I nailed it. And the they always have that, like, omnipresent narrator guy, right? And he's like, breathe. Mm -hmm. And, like, right at that time, I took a deep breath. So the game says breathe. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> and that was the clip. And they're like, Greg, following instructions. 
<laughs> yeah. That's um, all right. Awesome. Uh, Dan, Faye, what do you got? We've been up to the last couple of weeks. Uh, Should I go first? Much. Dan, you go first. You go no, first. I'll go for something quick. Uh, not too much. Uh, been looking for new jobs. Yeah. Nice. Nice. But it. All right. Got you. <laughs> what a <laughs> like I said, you that's good. You're looking for new jobs? Did you, uh, did you stop at the spaghetti factory or did you just looking while you work? No, I'm just looking while I work. Yeah. Cool. 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 Awesome. Sometimes it's time for a change. I can quote that that is so fucking true because <laughs> I'm ready for a new job at 10 years. I'm like, I'm, I'm out of this bitch. And everybody's like, hurry up and quit. Then I'm like, I need a new one first. <laughs> yeah, right. That's not how it works, people. Yeah. You don't just throw everything away like, oh, fuck this. I'll just do something else. I've been doing great. It's been a really rough week temperature wise. We've hit 40 degrees Celsius, 100. And what did I say? One, 102? You said 104. One of two, one of four, something like that, right? I don't know why I felt which has been correct you for two yeah. degrees. Like that's yeah. <laughs> oh, it, sorry. Which has been a little rough. Um, other than that, I have lost two of my D&D groups through different matters, um, which I'm very sad about. But you know, it happens. It's D&D, so something else is going to come up. But maybe it's time for a break of not playing five sessions a week. I don't know. <laughs> Five. Yeah. Yeah, let's see how many was it? Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was it used to be four. Wow. It used to be four. And then, you know, the occasional one shot in between somewhere. Yeah. Now I'm down to two. So I'm putting a hundred percent more energy into this one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. Please don't um, kill me, Greg. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for because... giving us your third choice in D and D show. <laughs> I Talk thought you were doing it rough like I was and doing all of them in one day. But you're no. like, I spread them out during the week. I was like, oh, it's fine. She's it's got fine. energy. Right. Yeah, it still seems kind of quickly. Honestly, three, I guess I do run one of them, but I do three a week, and that's that's a little bit nuts for me. Nice. I'm back down to two, and I'm like, I, I need more in my life. But at the same time, I'm like, this is enough. Yeah. But when I was doing four in a day, I was like, by the end of it, I was like, just Hold your eyes open. Don't act like you're not interested because then they won't invite you back for the next session. And I'm like, oh, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Need more coffee. Oh, wow. But yeah, I'm sad for you. We should just start our own one and we'll have Greg and Sean. You'll have, and Dan. You'll have the, right, and Dan. Perfect. What are we going to call it? I don't know. You, you figure that part out and let me know. I'll let you know. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that is a good recap of what we've been up to the last couple of weeks. It's been a couple of weeks since we played. Oh my god, you have a cooler. It That's hurts. a goddamn freezer, right? I thought the same thing. Oh, Holy shit. I, I am okay, anyway, it's been a couple of weeks since we last played. So, uh, I will uh, give you guys a chance here to get a little bonus experience. Uh, oh dear. I'm getting my notes, Greg. Give me yeah, a second. Remind yourselves of what's going on and uh, the viewers as well of, of the sessions past. So I will hand out 500 experience to the party if uh, you all can give an accurate recap in character uh, of the last couple of sessions. Uh, for an out of character recap, I will give 100 experience. Okay, do you want me to go first? Because uh, I can start it out. Because I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the mansion. Because like we had our own little thing that we did, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Where do you want the recap to start, though? Probably arriving in this in the city, we guess. Seems yes. like a reasonable let's, place let's to start. Let's start with your arrival in Balesport. All right, I can go first if you want. Yeah, go for it. Why not? So I was freezing my tits off as we went through the gates and found that I was pleasantly warm. We were ushered through the town by one of the, I think we believe it was the guards that told us where to go. Following the, the group, keeping an eye on, make sure they weren't doing anything shady. We made it to the, uh, to the manor house. When we got there, we were welcomed in. Faye was enjoying biscuits and we were standing around the fire and it was quite actual nice for once. And then we were told we can go and see the Lord. That's where we started to divvy each other out. Myself and uh, Jandlar decided we would walk around the house and I would 
my plan was to check around to see if there was any rodents or house animals that I could uh, chat to to get the inside. Because I feel like somebody here is doing the dodgy. After that, we went and we met this old man who magically was out of bed, even though he was meant to be sick. And then, you know, Tom was like, oh, I made him better. Oh, I'm a great cleric. And then we headed down to, to meet up with his wife, to my memory. And when we got there, it was kind of boring. Just a bunch of pirates really just arguing over how much money they're going to reap out of the people at town. But it's what politics is. Uh, Fair Rose just magically made it a whole much, whole lot better eating biscuits really loudly every time it went quiet in the room, which I rather enjoyed. It was a nice, like, boost. And then I thought, why not get to know Tom a little better so he's less of a, oh, I'm a cleric. And we went to the bar, and I had the great idea of, let's make some money because... I forgot that I need money, and I've been walking around with less than 10 gold in my pocket this whole time. So I offered to beat the shit out of somebody at the local tavern to make some gold, and some big dumb half-orc decided to stand up and challenge me, so I punched his face in for 50 gold. But I realized Tom was still shitting me because he tried swiping the whole 50 gold into his pocket. I haven't pulled him up about it yet. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> nice. Very good. Very good. Anything else that we want to add to Mildarian's version of events? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that I had plans for that evening. And I wanted, I think I wanted to meet up with Jandlar. But now I'm in my bed and it's morning. So I guess I didn't. I mean, that sounds like a terrible uh, <laughs> situation where things were put into your drinks. You should probably go see a doctor. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten those biscuits. 10 out of 10 charmed recap. <laughs> uh, let's see here. After arriving at the manor, uh, Rose and I investigated some of the, the causes of the Lord's sickness. We didn't find any signs of poison or possession or curses. Uh, so leaving it up to simply a mere disease, I, I used lesser recovery and brought the Lord back to his feet, and now I am his shadow for the next few days, trying to find the cause of his illness when it next strikes. All right. uh, also, I did not swipe all the money from Eldarian. I was just getting it off the table once we, once we finished up, and I'll give him, I'll give him his, his 25. <laughs> all right. Well done, you guys. Um, <laughs> that that will do nicely for our recap. 500 experience at the end of the session uh, will be added to your grand total for the party. So, uh, you have spent your night of debauchery. Uh, Janlar alone with his books, doing whatever crazy things wizards get up to with their books. Uh, and Rose has slunk off and come back, seemingly no worse for the wear. Tom and Sambar, you went out to a bar and had a grand old time fighting and gambling and have come back 50 gold pieces richer. Uh, the evening passes and you all awake inside of the manor house uh, of the, the Duke of Balesport. What is your plan for the day? Can I ask, Greg, when I was charmed, you said, like, I... I guess I take it that I can't really remember what happened in the evening. I just figured everything would be kind of blurry, right? For me. Yeah. Um, she, she told when would be the last point that I remember? Leaving would it be like coming home from the coming home from the uh, conference thing, or no, leaving your room to go investigate the right? Uh, and I did talk to Jella about that I would go right, I, and yeah, that I I'd I come back to his room. Okay, sorry. No, no, it's fine. It's fine, right? But like that—that that did did happen though. But I went back to mine and didn't show up for the rest of the night. Okay. Um. Yeah. I guess Janlar would just sleep it off and was already asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Janlar really needed that early morning rest. Yeah. So. Uh, the, the four of you sleep, awake, yeah. you have your normal morning rituals, you get your spells for the day if you need them. You get yourselves some nice biscuits out of the kitchen for breakfast. <laughs> what do you do? Um, I'm gonna go to the meet up with the lord. I'm, I'm supposed to shadow him, so gotta right. stay close. 
uh, Tom, you make your way to the to the Lord's room where you are met by the Doctor Gregorius, uh, as well as the the daughter of the of the Lord, um, and you are um, met with kind of grim concern on their faces as they look to you. The Doctor says, "I it seems that the illness has come back to him quicker this time. Uh, he is once again better." Hmm. Let me see him. At once, of course. Uh, and he, he steps aside, swinging the door uh, open. Uh, you see the the kind of daughter once again reading uh, off of a off of a book to him, uh, and concernedly. the The Lord is is pale and looks very drained uh, and just kind of weak. He opens his eyes to look at you, though, still more conscious than when you first laid eyes on him a day before. Ah, Tom, I appreciate you coming to me. It seems that my weakness is returning quite rapidly this time. Hmm. Interesting. And I'm gonna cast Detect Evil in this room really fast. Okay. Uh, you detect evil in the room and look around. Uh, once again, your eyes kind of shine brightly with the magic of Bridges, and you scan the room looking for evil, and nothing pings off as evil inside the room. Okay. <sighs> mm, do you know when you when you became ill? Do you know Do you know when it first struck you? He rubs his temple in bed, kind of looking up at the ceiling, and goes. My memory of that time is, is vague. It was a gradual thing. My, uh, my wife and I were uh, going about our normal lives a little weaker, a little sicker. But every now and then I'd have a cough. You know the flu season comes and goes here on the coast. Uh, I thought it was nothing more than that, but uh, it seems that uh, it stuck with me longer and longer drawing off into the into the next few months until I grew weaker and weaker and ended up in this Greg's like, everything seems to be yeah, working, damn it. everything seems to be fine. I just reset right. the the voice meter software. Sound is, is back. The sound is back. Sound is back. Okay, good. Awesome. Sorry, y'all. Okay, back. Awesome. So, where did we where did we leave off? What was the... At what point did the sound... Oh, now I'm getting no sound again. What? <laughs> oh, let, me, let me turn my volume on. No, no, it's on. We're good. It's on. Sound is on. Okay, okay, good. Um, so what did we miss? What, where, where did we leave off? Uh, I don't think we met. I'll just recap really fast. Okay. Um, I was asking Lord if he remembers when he first became sick and when he became sick, which he said he didn't really remember when first happened. He said for the, the latest illness, it started in the morning when he woke up. He went to bed healthy. Um, and then I asked uh, Gregory. That was your name, right? Uh, Gre Gregorius, yes. Uh, Gregorius, the my DM apologies. Can... a terrible name, I 
Can you keep him stable for the near future? I need to do some some investigating. Yes, absolutely. I will tend to him with utmost care. Right. I'll get this done as quickly as I can, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stride out of the room and go inform the party. All right. What do you mean he's sick? You fixed him yesterday. And it came back this morning. Look, let's leave this manor house and go talk somewhere in town. Hmm. What are you gonna ask them? Hmm? What do you wanna ask them? People in town. I, I don't wanna talk I don't I don't mean to talk to the people in town, but I'd rather have this conversation out of this place. Oh, oh okay, okay, I got, I got it. I got it. Front of the town. Sure. sure. <laughs> let's go to the tavern. I need breakfast and a drink. One of my tooth was dislodged. I had to push it back in. So I need a drink. <laughs> sure. Oh, by the way, here's your uh, here's your cut from yesterday, and I I'll, I'll shuffle them over the twenty five gold. I look at the twenty five, and I'm like, "Where's the rest? I did all the work. I seeded the money." Sure. And I just like pocket my twenty five gold. <laughs> I. Oh. Okay. Here, Rose. It's five gold. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, I'll, I'll pick up the five gold. I'll pocket them. What's that for? Oh, you can have it. I punched some orc's head in for it. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you doing okay, oh. Darian? Were you? Have you been drinking a lot? You sound a little. A little I, I thought I, I thought I'd make the character have a bit more difference from Sandbar because everybody was like, "It's just Sandbar, less interesting." And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh savage!" Well, I mean, Sandbar was amazing, right? I set the bar a little too high. <laughs> Sandbar. Oh man. At some point, Jandler would uh, approach Rose and apologize for uh, not being on watch last night. Um, uh, you're supposed to come watch to for room. what? You were supposed to come back to my room uh, after searching the house. And you didn't. <clears throat> oh, I, I, I didn't. What? I didn't search the house. But you were supposed to. You you left in the form of a small rodent. Spider. What? We Spider. should. Spider. We yeah. should have this conversation at the bar. Yes, let's go. As a we're up, like, <laughs> <laughs> I assume we're walking, like, yeah, yep. We um, are now, so you can have this conversation. Now we're walking to the bar. <laughs> yeah, as we're going through the street, I'll keep everyone pretty tightly together and and talk to them as we're walking, and say, at this point, I think I think his wife is going to be one of our prime suspects. I was, I didn't want to accuse her at first, and that's why I want to leave the house, is I don't want to have this discussion where a servant may hear. Well, Rose <laughs> called it. So, we're killing her, right? And we shouldn't be that brash. Accusing a, a noble of a crime is a... You should make sure you've done your homework first. We need to be careful with this one. I think we might need to find out why she's doing this in the first place. I think she may have a <coughs> few business deals going down that she doesn't want him to interact with. And then... Possible. She was annoyed when he arrived yesterday, but I mean, he didn't interrupt the proceedings at all. I, I, I assume she was just annoyed with the interruption, but the fact of the matter is she was the only one with him last night. And and the the only time I wasn't with the Lord was when he was with his wife. I don't know when else the sickness could have returned to him, and I don't know who else could be the cause. I don't know if she's the one who did it or not, but she is a prime suspect at this point. All right. As you as you walk through the town, you find yourself back in front of the the doors of the Salty Mast. Uh, mm -hmm. As you step in, there are a few patrons there that immediately recognize Meldarian and Tom, and uh, uproarious applause breaks out. <laughs> Woo! Uh, they they all come up and offer to buy you drinks for breakfast uh, and thank you for the exciting entertainment. The bartender kind of looks at you side eye a little bit, but kind of nods. Thanks. Could you buy my friends some drinks too? We're here for breakfast. Alrighty. Um, as you are mobbed by people and drinks and food are, are kind of <coughs> ordered and sent your way, you're ushered into one of the sides. I want uh, Meldarian, Tom, and Janlar to make me perception checks, please. Uh, just perception wisdom. Three. Yeah. 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 Y
as I did yesterday, I'm not eating any of the fish stuff. So if it's like <laughs> breakfast foods, I'm just going to eat the bread, right? Like, <laughs> I don't do fish. <laughs> Alrighty, um, so, um, Meldarian, Janlar, you are caught up in the in the process of it all. You're eating, you're drinking, you're having a good time. People are asking you to flex for them, show off your, your muscles that down to the, the half-orc that had ruled the bar scene for so long. Uh, but Tom, you happen to look around and you notice that Rose is no longer in sight. Seems she has slipped away or has disappeared somewhere. She left the manor with us, right? She did. She was talking with you along the way to the bar, but uh, has has slipped off and during the commotion, it seems. Okay. Um, I am going... I'll, I'll, I'll eat really fast. I'm not too concerned yet, um, okay. but I'll, I'll eat pretty quickly, drink a little bit, and then uh, get up and go look for her uh, yes. on my own. You've got to scave off that hangover, right? Mm-hmm keep drinking you never get hung over all right you you all eat and drink there yeah there tom goes pretty quick um eats and drinks pretty quickly and then okay. I'm, I'm gonna get up on my own and, and head out and look for rose okay uh, uh, I'll, I'll beat you in the market afterwards yeah yeah see if you can learn anything here all right all right so tom <laughs> you be, you head out of the tavern after eating rather quickly begin looking around town for rose um I, how are you doing this what's your what's your plan of action I mean, Rose is pretty distinctive looking, right? I, yes, yes. Especially I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> kind of walk around say, and say, frickins. yeah, like Tom is very forgettable. So some people might not even realize that I was walking in her party if they saw her earlier. And I'll say, tell me, have you seen a Spriggan uh, walking around lately? She's a she's a companion of mine, but we seem to have lost her. Hmm. Okay. You you talk to a, a number of uh, citizens around the tavern, people on the streets stopping them. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make me a perception charisma roll. Or perception or investigation, your choice, but charisma based. Okay. Uh, where did roll twenty go? Oh no. Oh no. Where's my Chrome? Where's my Chrome window? Okay, I found it. <laughs> Windows. Manic. Manic. Uh, I hate working with Windows. Okay. Too many tabs. Jesus. Nope. <laughs> no. You, you walk still up smell of vodka. I like grass rose. <laughs> <laughs> people, people give you the cold shoulder a little bit. Like, are you just stopping people on the street in the middle of their kind of daily routine? They're like, uh, no, no, uh, haven't, haven't seen anything. Thank you. No. Uh, some of them kind of nod their head sadly. Like, okay. Oh, I, I um, in that case, I'm going to try and retrace our steps. So I'm going to go back to the manor. Okay. Um, I guess I'll ask a servant if when, when I'm there, if Rose came back, like maybe she got lost. Uh, um. Okay. And then if if I hear that she's not back, I'm just gonna start retracing, like going back toward the bar and see if I can figure out a place where she might have like wandered off or something. Okay. Uh, you spend some time retracing your steps back to the manor. Uh, you speak with the servants. They're very helpful, but uh, they all say the same thing. Like, oh, I, I, I saw the, the Lady Rose leave with, with you on, on the way to the city. Uh, well, that's the last any of us have seen her, assuredly. She didn't return? Uh, no, no, I, I haven't hmm. seen her since. Uh, and uh, after that, you retrace your steps back through the city to try to find uh, any any clue where she may have been. Uh, as you do so, I think I would like for you to just give me one more perception, just perception wisdom. You're just using your eyes, trying to find out um, where she might be. There we go. Okay. So you crest a hill <coughs> over the top of uh, kind of the city looking down as you're coming from the palace area, and you're looking... And you see a uh, very strange kind of scene in the dock district. Uh, there's a, a large boat that is anchored in the docks. Uh, there are rowboats coming back and forth. This kind of catches your interest because it, it hasn't like docked fully the way most of the other large ships have. Uh, it seems rowboats are coming in and out. And as you stare on down, you see uh, a glimpse of a very uh, distinctive grass cloak. Uh, amongst the dock workers down in the harbor. Um, and with that, I want to switch back over to Janlar and Mildarian. What are, what are you two doing while Tom's off wandering the streets of Balesport? What, what is your role here in the tavern? What are, you, what are you up to? While I'm just eating the bread and stuff of my meal, so essentially having one third of the meal I normally would, <laughs> um, 
I'm trying to use this commotion of everybody talking to me to get in with them to see if I can find out if anything's changed about the town since the Lord's been getting sick. Okay. So have have the <coughs> have the boats been coming in more frequently? Has the Lord Mistress been in like more interactive with one kind of like uh -huh. boatman? Has she got a you know an affair going on? Like give me the scandals. I'm not from town. I need these things to keep myself interested. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, so you're working the people as they're coming up to you, giving them the chit chat, trying to slide in some information about the the lord of the docks, the goings on of the city. Uh, yeah. Janlar, what are you doing while Mildarian's doing all of this? Well, after a certain amount of time, he would notice that uh, Rose and Tom weren't there, mm -hmm. and probably start to get really worried. Um, but not knowing where they are at, he would probably just stay with Mildarian in the tavern, uh, hoping that they would return. Well, I did say we'd meet him at the marketplace when he got up. <laughs> yeah, I, I told Meldarian when I was leaving, so you okay. probably Sorry. saw me go. Okay, so then, yeah, I guess I wouldn't be too worried then. Uh, okay. Tom can handle himself. You're unworriedly appreciating the spoils of Meldarian's punches last night. Yes, of course. <laughs> All right, so, um, Meldarian, I want you to give me just a uh, charisma investigation role as you are working the crowd, pumping them for information about the goings-on of the city. Oh, this is not going to be good. So whatever I roll, minus one. <laughs> Fifteen. Boom! That's not that 15. bad. <laughs> all right, all right. You, you find most of them are fairly unhelpful. Most of them are sailors or simple merchants or laborers. Uh, many of them might be just foreign, having come down either the river or from the ocean. Uh, and you're kind of getting frustrated at some point uh, when you recognize a familiar face in the bar. Uh, you saw this dwarf in the um, trade negotiations previously. Uh, he has a big twirly mustache and kind of gruff features. Uh, you would recognize him as being a... Uh, kind of a figure in the, the debate that had some power, but spoke very rarely, um, often only to uh, weigh in on a potential compromise situation. Uh, you uh, kind of catch his eye, and he, he walks over across the room, and clears out the, the table around you, waiting for the uh, commoners to go away. He just kind of slides up and says, Oi, Seeker. I hear you're looking for information about uh, this Duke's sickness and the trade and things going on here. I saw you. Pretty much. The, yes, I saw you at the negotiations. This place is good as any, I suppose. Look, there's something not right about all this. I'm the silly, I'm the, the harbor master of these parts, or at least I was. Back when we only had a duke. You see, uh, the duke had no family not all that long ago. And six, seven months since, suddenly there was a duchess and a daughter. Uh, I don't know. Perhaps he got married rather quickly and in secret, but it doesn't sit well with me. Soon after he starts getting sick, she starts inserting herself more and more. This last deal, I don't like it. There's too much access for these sea elf captain and his crew. Uh, they have some exclusive access to the docks right around these times. Why do you see so many sailors in here? Early morning, they should be out and going. I don't like it at all. Now, see, that's perfect. You see my face light up, I'm like, you sir, you sir have just saved me two weeks in this hole. No offense. I, I do take it. It's a fine city. <laughs> I mean, I don't like the ocean. Not you. It's just me. All right. Well, keep that to yourself, or we might end up tossing you in it. Anyway, it's okay. Seek or no, be careful. I... I don't know what, but there's a change brewing in the air. I keep to myself. I know when to keep my mouth shut. You should too. And with that, he kind of gives you a nod, looks at Janlar, gives you a nod, and gets up, puts his hat back on, and, and leaves the tavern. And I just turn to Janlar, and I'm like, buddy, we just we just got our ticket to bash this lady's head in. How are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah, it seems pretty cut and dry. <laughs> exactly as we expected. All right. 
But first, we said the marketplace, so I'm gonna quick finish eating. Stop staring at me with that gawky look in your face. I know I have a big bruise on the other eye, all right? That orc had a good right hook. But I need to buy a coat, because we're leaving this town soon, because we're gonna murder her and the daughter, and then we're gonna get the fuck out of here. And it's cold outside these walls. I think good? before we murder children, we should at least make sure they're- She wasn't a child. She was like, you know, in her teens. She's she's past being innocent. We can murder her too. I don't care. Make sure but... she's complicit. <laughs> what the hell? Eat your food. Let's go. The age of acceptable adult murder is 16 in the D&D world. We're okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. She's no longer innocent. We don't kill children, but didn't say anything about anybody that was an adolescent. Boom. Oh, man. It seems like things change around here when the wife and the child appeared. Oh, let's murder them. <laughs> 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 Evil. Done. No, because we're in like Billman always brings in a character and they're kind of like, they're kind of chill and laid back. And then within like the fourth or fifth session, they're always like, okay, I got a little bit of evidence. Let's go kill every single suspect we have. And then let's skip Done. town and call the problem solved. Exactly. <laughs> if there's no one there to commit a crime, how can there be crime? He's a seeker. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, with that, I think we will leave Meldarian and Janlar to their devices for a moment. I think, yeah, I think we're headed to the marketplace at this point. You're headed to the market at this place. Tom, are you headed down to the docks or are you headed to the market as well? Uh, you said that I saw the grass cloak. You did? By the, by the harbor, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll head down and see what's going on. All right. Uh, you head down to the harbor. Uh, and you're making your way over there, uh, following the, the obvious road. Um, <coughs> as you... Uh, I'm trying to find a good there. Uh, as you approach the dock district, uh, you see that uh, I'm going to just pull all the players over to the Balesport docks here. Um, you see a kind of happening dock district. Um, you are coming in from the north up here uh, and as you are approaching you can see that there are plenty of rowboats um, kind of docking, people getting on and off of them. They are coming in with crates and barrels and shipments from this like large ship uh, off in the the coast, anchored out there, uh, not <coughs> coming up and anchored next to one of the larger docks to the south. Uh, as you approach from the north, you also see that there are some city guards that are more armored and armed than you saw them when you first entered the city. It seems like they're geared up to maybe, you know, do a little violence if need be, uh, that are <laughs> patrolling the streets. Um, you see the distinctive grass cloak. Rose seems to be assisting uh, one of these deckhands carry a large crate inside uh, one of the warehouses and quickly disappears. Um, as you approach, I want you to give me a perception wisdom check. Okay. All right. Uh, with a 19, you recognize this figure here in the middle of the docks. Uh, he's sitting there shouting orders as if he owns the place, telling everybody what to do. Uh, and you recognize him from the trade negotiations. This is that strange sea elf captain in full regalia. Um, and he seems to be g making sure that all of his merchandise is getting properly uh, stowed away. Uh, you notice that he shouts almost exclusively in a foreign tongue uh, that you are uh, unfamiliar with. Okay. Um, there are, like, other people walking down the streets, right? I know you have, like, a guard and a captain and stuff, but there's, like, just people walking down the streets, um, the right? Where you are, as you are approaching these the harbor, uh, there are people walking around the streets. As you get to this guard uh, and you're approaching, you see him turning people away. Um, okay. There's there's almost no foot traffic here other than the people offloading and unloading uh, cargo to these little ships. Okay. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head up to this guard. All right. And see if he tries to turn me away. Uh, you do. Uh, you walk up confidently, and, and the guard kind of puts up a hand. He says, uh, Hold there! Hold there! Uh, the, the harbor is closed for the, for the hour. Uh, we have goods coming in uh, by order of the, the Duchess and the uh, trade agreement. We must uh, have the harbor clear of foot traffic. It will be open upon the hour should you have business to do here. I'm here on official business from the manor of Balesport. I'm working for the Duchess. 
Ah, you are. Uh, can I? Yes, can I I'm get the, the seeker of Sarmanath that arrived yesterday. Do you do you need to see my mark? Uh, sir, I, I would need writs from the Duchess, of course. Writs from the Duchess. Has our has word of our arrival not traveled? Oh, it, it, it has indeed, sir. But I have been ordered that anyone without a writ is to be denied access. Uh, bureaucracy, yeah. you know. One of my companions is inside the the warehouse over there. Could you go fetch her for me and bring her here if I can't enter myself? Mm. Uh, I believe that could be possible. Uh, he turns around and says, uh, Mark, Mark, get over here. And uh, another uh, soldier kind of turns around the corner and says, uh, Not that I don't trust you, Sir Seeker, but, you know, rules as they are. No, I, I understand. And I'll, I'll describe, like, the grass cloak that she's wearing so that uh, mm. Very distinctive. he knows what to look for. Yes, yes. Uh, and he uh, leaves, uh, enters uh, this house here to the to the left, uh, and is gone for a few moments. Uh, he emerges a few moments later with uh, no rose uh, in tow, uh, and comes back out. And says, uh, uh, "It seems she's very busy at the moment. Uh, she said that uh, she'll she'll be back as soon as her work is done." Tell her it's urgent. We need her immediately. I, I'm sorry to use you as a messenger here, but it's important that she comes with us. All right. That's a secret business, I guess. Right. He grumbles as he <laughs> wanders back off. Uh, a few moments pass, and once again he comes back uh, sans rose. Uh, says, uh, she, she repeats that she's very sorry, that, uh, but is more than confident in your party's abilities uh, to uh, find whatever ails the Duke, uh, and... Uh, she will join you uh, uh, soon, uh, as soon as her business is done. I know you don't want me to, to do foot traffic here, but could you allow me uh, escorted to go in with you so I can drag her out myself? Uh, I, 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 well, you know. I understand the, I understand your, your trepidation about this, but I'd rather, that, that, it, it's urgent that she comes with us. We have important business to do. It's official. We're here on, on I, orders of the Duchess. I, 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 I like told her all of this. As she turned me away. I, I, it seems very inappropriate to be dragging ladies off against their will. I, I, Sprig it or no, that just uh, doesn't stand with me. I'm not dragging her into a bar. I'm dragging her down the street. Uh, she, she's <laughs> more than capable of deciding whether or not she wishes to go with you. <sighs> Can I at least talk to her? I don't know what's gotten into her, but it's important that she learns some of what we have. Uh, is, I, I am sure that should she desire, she will talk to you aplenty within the hour. Very well. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off. Okay. Um, and once I'm out of sight of these guards, I'm gonna go into a light yog and get to the marketplace as quick as possible. A light yog? Good yeah, enough. nice light yog. A nice light yog. A nice yog. I also love how dragging somebody into a bar is inappropriate, but dragging somebody down the street oh. is fine. Okay. <laughs> I, thought he, I thought he was implying something a little bit less, uh, a little bit less scrupulous, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Come on now. And with that, uh, you break into a light yog down the street, uh, yep. and you arrive in the the merchants' quarters uh, in the marketplace, uh, yep. along with your companions. Janlar, please tell me you have invisibility. Not yet. No. Janlar. Okay, I think we're going to have to kill some people here. <laughs> See, I I told you, Janlar. I told you this was coming, and I just grab him and I pull him in real close. That Duchess is with the elven guy that we met yesterday. Tom, and where is Rose? Biddings, and we're gonna murder him. Something's murder wrong him. with Rose. She's in the harbor right now. She's helping with some work. Since uh, when does Rose do labor work? What is this? That's why not would what she, Rose does. Yeah, something is wrong here, obviously. She was walking with us, and then she wandered off to the harbor to go move crates. No, okay. there, there's something up, but I, I tried to get into the harbor myself so that I could go talk to her and see what was going on but the guards denied me entry and when i when i got one of them to ask her for me they claimed oh she's so busy something is going on here and we need to get into that warehouse okay one second i turn to the merchant that i'm obviously trying to barter for a cloak i'm like i'll be back all right that's what they all say that's what they all say i'll tell I, you i what. just like i pull a silver and i'm like here's my silver i'll be back for it oh one silver well i will hold on to it for you <laughs> And then I'm like, let's go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I hold sad. on to it for you. 
even though that like feeds peasants for days, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> Difference between peasants and merchants. <laughs> good point, good point. <laughs> Let's right. go, come on. Where's this guy I gotta punch his head in? Like, I just well, like- Okay, hold on. Janlar, do you have any way that we could get into the warehouse unseen? If we can do it without violence, that would be ideal. Um. What the I can levitate you, but that would not allow us to get an unseen. It's not particularly unseen, no. I can cast haste, and you can run really, really fast. That's all I got. Everybody else is completely. Uh, oh my god! If I die like this, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you die, Faye. Don't worry. Right. I might make a distraction then, so that you two can go in and figure out what's going on. Just burn down every single boat in the harbor. That's gonna be First, quite let's a see distraction. if there's some sort of back entrance we can take. If we start a fight in the warehouse, that's one thing, but I'd rather make it in there at least before we start killing people. Look, let's just... Hey, I you, said just... You, you told us that you saw Rose's cloak, right? I yes, mean... I saw... I'm pretty sure it was Rose. At this point, I say we go in the front door. I, I'm not trying to... I don't care about stealthy at this point. I want to get you in there stealthily. I have I have a thought. They're all like loading things onto a ship that's off the, the, the dock, right, Greg? Uh, you think that they're actually taking things off of the ship and bringing oh. them to Balesport. Okay. Seems odd um, to me that they... <laughs> okay, I, I have an idea here. It's a little bit stupid, but it might work out for you. See if you can get in to the uh, to the warehouse without too much trouble while I while I work on this. And I'm gonna cast water walk. Once we get down to the dock, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hop off the dock and start like walking along uh, over to this larger ship that they're unloading things from. And I'm like I'm pretty boisterous as I do it, like a big swagger in my step, and I'm trying to get every eye on the dock to watch me walk over to this large ship. <laughs> oh dear! I mean that'll do it. All right, um, Tom. Uh, please give me a performance <laughs> charisma check. Is as performance you... a skill? Yes, performance it is. is a skill. I might have it. Let me check. I don't. Okay, it's All charisma. Right. Give me the best performance. And I'm going to give you advantage because you are doing something so absurd that people are definitely going to be drawn 20. to it. 20. Nice. All right. So you get on the water and you cast Water Walk and you start just striding your way, <laughs> Ric Flair strut all the way out to the ship, hollering, trying to get people's attention. Uh, mm -hmm. And sure enough, you can see every eye on this dock just kind of stop and look at you. Um, <laughs> the people are like, what is going on? This mm -hmm. captain stares at you for a moment, realizes you're heading towards his ship, and begins barking orders in his language. Uh, some amount of people get into a boat and begin sailing away towards you. Um, mm -hmm. We'll just delete them off. The While screen. all this is going on, does it look like Meldarian and Janlar have an entrance into this warehouse? Uh, you've definitely gotten the attention of a fair number of, of people uh, as they begin rowing their way off the off towards you, uh, mm -hmm. and they're the leaving the rest of the warehouse kind of distracted and in a bit of a scuttlebutt. I just turn to Janlar and I'm like, just walk like we're meant to be here and don't look at the guards. When you look at people, they look back at you. Janlar would cast Mage Armor on himself and then uh, <laughs> start walking. All right. <clears throat> Janlar and Meldarian. You, you want to put us on the, yeah, on the, on the map. map screen? I was like, what's going on? I don't see anything. There, you there we go. Sorry, guys. Nice. You are... All right. You are striding your way into this harbor as best you can. Are you? Be you're being stealthy about it, I suppose. Yes. Would All you like right. a stealth? I want check. you both to make me stealth dexterity checks uh, as you be try to take advantage of Tom's distraction. Ooh. I'm proficient in this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You begin sneaking your way up through the streets, trying not to make a lot of noise um, as the guards uh, are distracted quite a bit by uh, Tom's performance. Uh, go ahead and take yourself where you want to go. So 
So I walk to here. Uh-huh. And I'm going to be heading into this house, so I guess that's the stairs there. Yes. Yeah. All right. You creep your way <coughs> through, Meldarian first, having no issues getting to the top of the stairs, waving back at Janmar. Who I just look back at Janmar, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> <Mouth cut. laughs> this is a little slower. Feeling, there's no one here. <laughs> <sighs> Janmar, you make your way past the guards, your foot slipping on some pebbles, causing a shower of them across the stone road. You freeze for a moment, and then realize that the guards rolled a natural one on their uh, <laughs> perception. So you quickly find your way to the top of these stairs. All right. Uh, you find at the top of the stairs that the door swings open very easily. Um, and you find yourself looking at two very, very surprised pirates. Uh, as you open the door inside the room here, uh, there are two uh, deckhands that just like uh, eyes wide as you as you open up. And they're like, oh, 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 oh are, are you here to help unload? <laughs> I wasn't expecting more outsiders. Yes, step aside so we can come in. Oh, uh, you, you don't have any crates. Here, come with me, come with me. Uh, some crazy person out there is m messing with the, the the docks. Here, here step aside. Uh, we'll, we'll show you where the, the crates go. We have to go get one first. All right, I'm just going to put my hand forward and like kind of just like push my way in so that we can both get in it and then the door shut and then I'm going to wail on them. So no, how on. would I go? <laughs> <laughs> you if they, if they turn my back, like, like uh, this kind of surprised uh, pirate is you shove him backwards after saying you're here to help. <laughs> you step in the door, allowing Janlar to get in here as well, uh, swinging it shut behind you. Uh, what do you do? You're, you're going to wail on him? Yeah, I'm going to like just fucking wail on these right. poor kids. These so guys let's... are... are underpaid laborers they weren't prepared for a deception of this quality uh <laughs> <laughs> they are surprised just, as, as you wail on it. them what do you do all right so i guess uh so we just overwhelm them or are we gonna fight them you, like, you get a what? surprise round is what i'm telling you uh, all right sweet i'm just gonna cut them down because <laughs> you said they were pirates so i pull out this hook sword and i'm just gonna meat cleaver these boys up all so, right Please you could technically the meat cleaver them non-lethally <laughs> if no, no. you wanted to. I'm, I'm cutting down pirates. It was in the description. <laughs> uh, people who should have looked for a new job about a week ago. <laughs> right? well, two days ago, right? We got here about two days ago. <laughs> oh, rough. Hold on, let me pull up my pirate uh, stat box here. I'm not raging. I should probably untick that. Only two slashing? Damn, I rolled poorly. Oh, that's a one. That's why. Yep. I think <sighs> Janlo was Here's planning on casting pirate. sleep on both of the guards, but seeing Meldarian go for the kill, I think Janlo is going to just dagger the other one. All right, perfect. Uh, Meldarian, your your hook sword hits, uh, digging deep into the the flesh of the of the pirate, uh, dealing four points of damage to him. Uh, he gets a very surprised, like, whack out as Janlar steps right up with a dagger to stab at himself. I was actually, gonna, I was planning on stabbing the other one. Oh, stabbing the other guy who was... I was, expect I, was expecting, I was expecting him to kill this guy. Alrighty, alrighty. I, I still have another swing in, so yeah. I can still possibly Okay, yeah, go it. ahead and roll your second swing. Janlar, go ahead and roll your dagger. You guys have a surprise round. You're just gonna, like, go on. 13. Uh, the 13 wrong. does hit him as he is uh, currently unarmored and unarmed. There you go. Uh, for six. six points of damage. Janlar with the 21 for five more. Alrighty. Uh, these guys are stabbed, bleeding, pain. They both raise their voices at the top of their lungs like, We're under attack! Intruders in the warehouse! Uh, and with that, let's. Uh, they draw their arms and it's time to roll initiative. Okay. Oh, I get a good roll too. Alrighty, they're gonna go on initiative nine. Uh, I mean, I shot 14. the door, so how much sound did they really hear outside? Mildarian 17. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, Mildarian, you're first to react. They draw their swords, uh, uh, their kind of like sabers out of their scabbers. Uh, you you hear this this cry for help. Uh, what do you do, Mildarian? 
<laughs> as, as as they cry, I'm like, you should have done that, and then you see the rage come forward as I go into a rage with my bonus action, and I'm just gonna start cleaving bitches up. So, first attack. Uh, 13. That's a hit, right? Uh, 13 does not hit, as he has his sword in hand. Oh, okay. He parries That's away good. the blow, um, knocking it to the side. And second attack. All right, the 21 does hit. He is exposed oh. as your blade hooks in for eight plus more two. points of damage. So 10, plus 10, I'm raging. I forgot to click the raging thing. Okay, plus 10? No, no, just 10 in total. Oh, 10 total. Oh, okay, okay, I was gonna say, Jesus. <laughs> That's a lot of rage <laughs> damage. <laughs> That's a lot of rage. Like, we need rage to rage more often, man. <laughs> uh, after I'm done that, I just turn to Janla. Attack the one I'm attacking so it's quicker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really get that, to him. Uh, you turn around to, to scream at, at Janlar. Attack the one I'm attacking! Uh, you see Rose step out of the room behind you. Rose, you hear a voice in your head that says, Protect the broodlings. Get rid of your friends. What do you oh, do? wow. <clears throat> well, how compelling is that? Do I have any any way of battling that voice in my head, or is it like this is uh, what you do? You are you are charmed by the lady uh, until twenty four hours, in which you'll get a chance to save again. Um, mm -hmm. so, so okay, I'm com. I guess yeah. I mean, your charm effect is more like you're actually compelled to do these things, right? Because five year charm kind of thing. Yes. So. <laughs> yes. The, the target, right. This is, this is the the description of this creature stat block. Um, the t the charm target obeys the fiend's verbal or telepathic commands. Full stop. Right. Okay. If you yeah, suffer that... any harm or receive a suicidal command, you could get a resave. Right. Okay. Um. Let's see. How do I best protect these two? Um. I touch one of them, and I cast whichever one is more hurt. I cast invisibility on him. Oh, all right. This one here that Meldarian was oops, was attacking uh, becomes invisible. Boop. He just disappears in front of you as Rose comes up and touches him. And then I guess I'm gonna step onto that table. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, Rose steps up on the table above you, Meldarian. Janlar, you see all of this happen as Rose turns the corner, turns one of the, the fighters invisible, steps up on the table. What do you do? I think I'm going to continue attacking the guard in front of me that I can see. Okay. Not with my dagger. All right, you use dagger. your dagger. Uh, with an 18. Attack again. Oh, roll again, because he's adjacent to me, and when I'm raging, oh. I am... Yes, you, rage. Wolf, you have advantage. advantage. You might crit. Okay. No, no nah, crit, right, but sorry. we will take that four damage as you stab him once again with your dagger. Blood and is then running down his belt. I would also, while I was doing that, I would look to Rose and yell, Rose, what are you doing? Silence meets you. Yeah. That brings us to their turn. The invisible pirate is going to... No, he's just gonna stab you. He doesn't really. He doesn't know he's invisible. <laughs> he was not prepared for being invisible, uh, but he does have advantage. Uh, so he will take uh, 20. What's his roll to hit? I forget. Uh, he gets a very solid. Plus Does that six. break invisibility? I don't know. Yes. How after it, it will attack. break his invisibility, but after this first attack. Well, that's okay, because I'm uh, gonna murder. So he takes a 21 to strike you, Meldarian. Uh, For sure. And I don't wear armor. That he does. <laughs> Three damage. Four mm, damage. Well, good. No, he can't actually do less than four. Or five. Uh, he does five. He does five slashing uh, damage I, to you. I and take he poofs back damage. out of invisibility. <laughs> um. Wow. There you are, you little shit. And then he's gonna <laughs> roll again. Because he winds up and takes his second attack. A 17 to hit you. That'll hit. Alrighty, and then he does an additional five points of damage. He's just giving That'll you be. paper cuts. He says, Aha! Death by a thousand cuts it be. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, and then his friend looks at Janlar with a threatening uh, look and is going to roll to attack you with a 25. Uh, wow. Dealing 12 Ooh, points of dear. damage. <laughs> and a 12. That will not hit you with the uh, mage armor, correct? Okay, perfect. You, you're still muted, I think. Okay. I saw him nod his head. He strikes you with the with the sword, and he says, "Nar, mine be death by fewer cuts." <laughs> Meldarian, what do you do? That's it. All right, the guy I've been wounding, I'm going to chop at him. Okay. Ten does not hit. A ten does not hit. He parries it away with his with his blade. Wow, nine. I hate this character. Bring back Samba. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that brings us to Rose. What do you do? Right. Um, I am going to cast Healing Word on this one. Okay. Uh, Which you cast is... Healing Word. Okay. Find that, because you said protect them. Eh, yes, the, protect the voice said that. Is that a male or female voice in my head? It is, um, well... I, guess well, I is, can't really tell, probably. It is around, feminine, like... but it doesn't sound like a human noise. Fucking sirens. This one. Right. And. Oh, seven. And then I'm going to. Um, bonus action. No, I can't use bonus action because I already did that. Never mind. We're good. Okay. I think that's. I can still swing, I guess, but I can't drop this. Uh, no, never mind. I can't do anything right now. I gotta, okay. I gotta grab the quarter staff next time. Okay. Rose reaches out, a, a tendril comes off her hands and grows through the wound, suturing up the uh, injured pirate in front of Meldarian. Uh, Janlar, what do you do? I'm gonna cast Sleep uh, okay. on the creatures around me. Alrighty. What is it? Have we seen you cast Sleep before? Um. I think one time. Okay. Uh, normally, I use a pinch of sand, mm -hmm. uh, but in this setting, I'm gonna use a pinch of roses because that's the other option, and I feel like that's more fitting. Oh, that's cute. So I'm gonna cast sleep on them. Um, hopefully, putting them to sleep. But no. I really, really <laughs> Those are some really <laughs> shitty rolls. The you, worst roll of all time. You yeah. pinch up some petals of rose, <sighs> blow it out at the the enemies in front of you, uh, and nine hit points. That's uh, not going to put any of the enemies to sleep. Are no, any no, of you at nine no. or lower hit points? Yeah. <laughs> A I'm, rat falls of out of the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, Alrighty. Effective. Uh, excellent. That is your turn. Uh, that brings us to their turn. Uh, this guy is going to attempt to just tackle Meldarian to the ground. Uh, sword in hand. He's going to go for, um, like a, a leaping blow at your legs. He's just going to try to, like, bring you down so that this fight goes a little bit faster. Uh, so go ahead and make an athletics or acrobatics uh, a defense against this man's attempt to tackle you to the ground. Do I not get advantage because I'm raging? Uh, from what? Advantage for? I thought. No, never mind. Different. Yeah, different, I didn't think uh, so. Thing. Okay. He rolls a 27, 27 oh. to tackle you to the ground. How did he 27? I thought that was mine because I clicked at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. This pirate throws his saber to the ground and dives at your legs, gets you, and like just grapples you in, in, and like drags you to the ground. You are like on top of each other now. Blah! The other one turns from Janlar. Um, and spins around, seeing that you are now grappled, and begins slicing at you with advantage. Uh, with a 17 to hit you. Uh, that'll hit. Alrighty. Uh, for 10 points of damage. And yep. a 21 to hit you. Yep. For an additional 12 points of damage. Whoa. Just stabbing yep. into you while you're on That's the ground. That's fine. And he's just, he's just scratching me. It's fine. Alrighty. Uh, that brings us to your turn, Mildarian. You're on the ground getting grabbed, just getting stabbed to death uh, by his, his friend. What are you doing? It's just like last night. And I just wail on this guy on the ground with me. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, you're gonna go with punches, or are you gonna yep. try to like get your blade? In? Well, I, I can I swing when I'm on the ground with I a guy can... wrapped around me. Like, don't, don't like large weapons have disadvantage against a grappled like a target that's grappling you or something? Or am I thinking of a different edition? I think you're thinking of a different huh. edition. I honestly okay. think you. Well, have in that case, I'll use my sword and I'll just cut this bitch up. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and give you advantage just because oh, okay. you are like I'll take that. Like <laughs> you're blind with him. Okay, 17. A 17 will hit him. Go ahead and I mean, he doesn't have his sword, so that is that's correct. 7 damage. Oh. 7 okay. points of damage. And then my second attack with advantage. 20. 20 hits. And the 14 damage. See, 14 that's the damage, damage. I needed. All what right, you starting game. to get some cuts in. He's starting to look a little rough around the edges, despite Rose's healing. Um, Rose, what do you do now? I'm going to cast Shillelagh. All right. Rose and I'm going to cover my uh, my uh, staff in LG, I guess. Is that what you call LJ? LG? How do you pronounce that? LG. Algae? Okay, there you go. I had it wrong all the all algae. the time. Uh, it's algae. Okay, okay, algae. Okay, I'll I'll take that. And I'm Country. gonna <laughs> and I'm gonna wail at the Aldarian, I guess. All right. Because I can't hit reach Jenna from here, so lucky you. Bring it. Uh, does this count as magic damage? It like, does, does it? Does it get? It does. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Seventeen is gonna hit. Please, yeah, it'll hit uh, me. Roll again to see if you crit. What? Do, do I get advantage? Oh, yeah, I get yeah, advantage. advantage. Oh, bye. No. You don't crit. No. So seven points nope. of magical bludgeoning damage upon you, Meldarian. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, that brings us to Janlar. Janlar, your friend has been grappled to the ground in front of you. Your other friend is beating him to death with a with a shillelagh. What do you do? I have no idea if this is going to work, but I'm going to try to cast a spell magic on uh, Rose. Mm. That's fucking clever, because I could use the heal around now. I'm getting to I, the yeah. mid hit points. All right. I was I was wanting to uh, to help, but I was like, I didn't take to spell magic today, so I, I don't think I could really do much. Yeah, I'm not. It, it says one spell magic says it works against. You can dispel a magical effect, I believe. Well, it says you can choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range, any oh. third level or lower, on the target ends. But my only thing is, it's like charm person. The spell only lasts for like a minute, right? But then you're charmed for a certain amount of time. This is something. the this is the differentiation between what's the difference between a spell and a spell like effect from a monster. Um, I'll allow it. You cast a spell magic. Uh, you you what do you what are your components of the spell magic? I don't believe it's anything. It's just verbal and semantic. Oh, okay. Uh, you wave your arcane gestures and speak the words Fusroda! Uh, and with a shout, the magic <laughs> is evaporated from Rose's mind. Uh, the the uh, um, the hold upon you, you feel it kind of break away. And Rose just kind of blinks for a moment, kind of maybe taking stock of where she is, uh, shillelagh in hand. Uh, and that brings us to the pirate's turn, yar. Uh, this one maintains his grapple on Meldarian, just driving his shoulder deeper into the ground, so his friend can just wail on him even more. Um, with a These 24 boys. to hit. That'll hit. These for boys nine so points cute. of damage. I'm sorry, what was that? Yep. I said, it's funny, because these guys are so cute. <laughs> They're trying so hard. <laughs> Uh, that's Rose also the only one that actually hurts. Oops. <laughs> uh, for 12 more points of damage. That one probably hurt a little. Nope, six points. All right. <laughs> I mean, I would not want to lose six points of health. What's your, what are you doing? On behalf of my health. This guy that's on top of me is going to get shanked again. So. All right. Roll the hit with advantage. All right, I'll roll that one again. I keep forgetting. A 22. 22 will hit. All right, so that's 14 damage. That's 14 damage on this guy. He lives. He's okay. And right. then I attack again because I got two attacks and I crit. Oh, I don't think you can live. 
Uh, that's nine damage. Nine damage. You crit this guy. You drive your blade like right into his like oh, the junction of the shoulder too, so... and the neck. You just get all the way in there, pull it out. His his heavy limp body just lays on top of you now as he lies dead on the ground. That would have been rough because that was the hooked sword too. Oh, you like ripped out like a piece of, of the inside out it. too. Yeah. Uh, Rose. You see this grotesque scene in front of you. Uh, you have your shillelagh in hand. The voice in your head is gone. You feel kind of, maybe like a little bit fuzzy in the head. What do you do? Well, I feel slightly fuzzy, but obviously my two friends are fighting these guys. Otherwise, my diary wouldn't have ripped his entrails out, right? Like basic, basic conclusion. And I apparently already have my quarter staff in hand. So I was ready to fight. So I turn around and wail at the pirate, right? All right. That's, as you do. As okay. You do. And I guess I do get advantage because I'm still adjacent, and we're now friends again. So. Yes, you are. Natural That's a trick. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the That's power of friendship here. <laughs> oh my god! I wish I could also roll it, but my tooltip is stuck. So hold on, I gotta do that manually. Uh, There's twelve damage. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god, it's entirely stuck. I gotta boost it up by roll 20. Ooh, okay. Yeah. You restart your roll 20. Anything else you want to do with your turn? I'm just confused. I don't think so. Okay. I'm just wailing at people and I'm like, am right, I having Jamar, it? I touch my head. I don't know what's happening, but I gotta kill. <laughs> am I having a concussion? Like, how did I get here? It's like, what, are we, what about breakfast? You know, and there are so many questions. Uh, Janlar, uh, you see Rose turn around, wail on this dude with her club. He stumbles back, bleeding. Uh, what do you do? I think to myself, my magic worked perfectly. Um, <laughs> and then I dagger this guy. Oh, dagger. Okay. <laughs> with advantage. With advantage. This guy hasn't had any healing. He's a little bit worse for the- Oh hey, my god, the all right. Friendship. That's a crit. <laughs> Amazing. You are capable of downing him here. This is why you go Totem of the Wolf, kids! Yeah! Uh, you did not down him. You are one <coughs> HP Darn. short. But he, like, stumbles back, blood just kind of trailing out of him. Uh, his panic in his eyes as it becomes his turn. Uh, he is going to turn <coughs> around uh, and sprint away from you back this way, evoking three attacks of opportunity. Ah, uh, he is so dead. Watch all three of you roll ones here. <laughs> they will get advantage. That's yes. true. Rose and Jen, are you get advantage on your attacks of opportunity. I uh, get a 15. So well, Mildarian misses. Uh, but Rose, uh, yes, Rose and Janlar, you combine your attacks and just take him down. You you stun him with your, your quarterstaff. Janlar walks up behind him, slits the, the knife in his back. He falls silently and dead upon the ground, leaving the three of you in the quiet of this warehouse. As, as I get up, I'm still raging. I'm just going to walk up to that guy that's like dead on the floor, the one that tried getting away, and I'm just going to put the hook sword straight in the middle of his back to make sure he's dead. All right. Because she only shall I lead him. I was, um, I'm a bit bit pissy that he kept poking me. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I would immediately look to Rose and say, Rose, oh, what what was that? What, what do you mean? I thought we were getting breakfast. You came in and... Turn that you dude invisible and started stick. healing them. You hit him with your stick. But I, but I thought we were fighting them, right? That's why I was hitting them. No, you, you were me. you were fighting us. I gave you gold I, and you hit me. I didn't hit you. You don't hit friends. I know that. I have it in my book. We've written it down. It's been a few weeks, but I have to remember it. Like, <laughs> well, I, that... I never. I would never. I believe you were under the effects of a magical charm. Uh, it's possibly why you didn't return to me last night. After casting the spell magic, you came back to us and fought on our side again. All right. Well, do you remember what's in here? As I'm like well, searching I mean, the sky for where a Where are we? In uh, a warehouse where? down by the docks. You know that weird elven guy that we were looking at yesterday and you were eating the cookies and we were looking at him funny because he was odd looking? 
Do I remember anything about this place that I'm in, Greg? Like, do yeah, I remember yeah, anything yeah, about yeah. the so charm time? You remember being told to come down here? You, you, maybe it's kind of fuzzy, like it happened when you were drinking or something. But uh, you remember being told to come down here, and you slipped off after you went to the inn, and you came down here, and you were loading crates uh, off of the the uh, docks and putting them. Uh, in these various warehouses, um, you... You probably... Do I know if there are more people in here? Yes, there are. Three of them, in fact. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the others, I'm gonna say, I think there are other people in here. Like, there were three more in the back when I put the crates in there. Okay. And I'm like, just quickly... Are there other people? Got shit. No, go ahead. No, I was just searching the guys while you were yabbering about, like, how, if she remembers anything. Here I am shaking the dead guy to make sure he doesn't have a coin pouch. <laughs> and oh, just I was, I was... tossing his body in the corner, making sure the sword's out of sight so nobody just runs in, picks the sword up, and tries to give me a go. Yeah, I would ask Rose if she means people in there unloading crates or more uh, guards. Were they pirate types or just, you know, normal dock workers? <laughs> Uh, they are all, all of the people in here are kind of associated with the, um, ship outside. They're all kind of... I'm not quite sure. They said Yar a lot, so... I think they were pretty similar to those two. Alright. Well, stand behind me. Try not to let them poke me in the back and attack the guy I'm attacking. Let's do this. Murder everybody. Told you this was the plan, Jernla. This was the plan. Alright. Meldarian, you prepare yourself to step through the, the door and, and continue your onslaught against the pirates. Before Tom. he does so, though, I would cast haste on him. <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll save that for when we come back. <clears throat> Tom, you've been striding your ass out into the ocean for a little Jesus while. Christ. Hollering, giving the little Ric Flair strut as you go. Um, I, I do cat crossing the courtyard, so like I keep my head as still as I possibly can and like have exaggerated movements for the rest of my body. Nice. I tried doing that, by the way. It looks as ridiculous as it sounds. <laughs> I love the fact that you tried that. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen. Uh, alrighty. Uh, so you, you you begin making or you've you've been making your way out to this uh, boat. Uh, it turns <laughs> out that uh, the oars people can row themselves out to you um, a lot quicker than you can walk all the way out to this giant ship. Mm -hmm. uh, and you quickly find yourself surrounded by well, not surrounded, but there are two boats, um, mm -hmm. both with two um, pirates in them. Right. That have oared their way out to you, and they've kind of, they've tried to surround you. They've just come from two different sides. Right. Um, and as you're walking, they're kind of like, "What exactly do you think you're doing out here, yar?" In the name of the Duke of Balesport, I have a question about this shipment. Ah, uh, and we have right to the dock on our own. Are you gonna need to turn around or face some severe consequences? What kind of consequences are you talking about? Would you defy the duke? He he pulls his blade out just a little bit. He says, the rough kind. I be, on, I be operating under the duke's law. You'll find no uh, protection from him here. Also, yar. <laughs> a lot of yees and a lot of yars. Is that so? Do you think your your protection under the law would hold up against the duke's word? We have writ from the Duchess herself. I see. And when did the Duchess take over Balesport? She only works in her lord's stead. Then you would know that the Duke is well again. Aye, and yet we still have a writ. Now, turn yourself around. Perhaps we'll find another corpse floating at the bottom of the sea. It's not uncommon, you know. You find a few pirates wash up on shore occasionally. Occasionally, people just can't take the cruel world anymore. Are you oh, threatening so me? Yar, that, that be the case. I'm gonna fireball him. I know. He's on a boat. Okay, um, you can oh fireball my God. one of the two uh, of the boats very easily. Um, but they are, they tried to kind of come at you from two different angles, so you can't get uh -huh. both of them. Yeah, I go, I don't, I don't care about the other boat. I'm just going for the one that, uh, the, the dude was in, <laughs> the one who threatened me. Alrighty, uh, you roll me some fireball damage. He has no recourse oh for this. Oh my God. 
Oh, we're here That's to nice. investigate, all right? <laughs> uh, People need to stop seven. threatening me, okay? <laughs> you are such a big... little bit unhinged. Tom, Tom is the biggest. If you can't, if you can't handle me at my worst, <laughs> like that, isn't he? Alrighty. Uh, so, uh, you fireball the ship. You snap your fingers, a ball of fire erupts out of the, the ship. Uh, it immediately catches on fire. The ship mm -hmm. is burning. They can't save. They, they are stuck right. in their little oars. They take the full 27 points of damage. You can you can smell their flesh sizzling and burning mm -hmm. and making its way back to you. But they don't die. Uh, they manage to survive the, the blaze. Uh, and with that, they pull I... out... Uh, he pulls out his sword, uh, right. but... Well, one of each has a sword, one of each has a crossbow, and they are going to roll initiative against you, okay. Tom Lightbringer. Uh, sounds good to me. Oh, They're fly right. fighting a cleric and they can't surround him. This is not going to go well for them. <laughs> well, I might, I probably can't beat them all, but I don't think they could even reach me, because, I mean, as somebody who can walk on water, I assume I have better maneuverability than a, than a rowboat. That's what I'm saying, like, you've got the advantage. Alrighty, uh, you, they roll an 11, Tom, you roll a 14, uh, mm -hmm. you go first, uh, what do you, okay. what do you do as they, two of them pull out crossbows, one of them pulls out a sword, or two of them pull out swords, what do you do? Okay, I'm gonna use my movement to like, they're, they're kind of like on either side of me, so I'm just gonna go so that I have both of the backs of the rowboats to me, so that they'll have to maneuver all the way around to be able to even move toward me again. Okay, okay. Um, and then, two of them had crossbows, you said? Yes. I'm gonna guiding bolt one of the ones with the crossbows. Ooh, okay. Please roll the hit. Okay. I mean, guiding bolt is—is is that a roll or a save? I am almost certain it is a roll to hit. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure you're right, but I'll make sure. Yeah. Next. Oh, wait. Yeah. Range stall attack on a hit. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Uh, so that's gonna be d20 plus six uh, for 25. Oh, uh, that'll hit him. Yeah. Please roll me All some right. damage. So he takes 16 points of radiant damage. All right. Uh, is this the one that you had burned alive uh, with your is, fireball? Is Are they the ones with the crossbows? There's one with a sword and one with a crossbow in each. Oh, one. yeah. I'll go for the injured one then. All right. Yes. Uh, he dies. Your guiding bolt just erupts in a brilliant like uh, flash of light. His, his like mm -hmm. skin melts away. He turns into ash like in the bottom of the I, I, I After that, I say, are you ready to answer my questions now? Uh, no, they, you just, you just get, a, a like, yar. <laughs> uh, and with that, uh, the guy with the sword jumps into the water. Uh, he just dives out of the burning boat. Uh, it is the start of his turn and he is on fire. Uh, or he's, he's standing in a flaming ship. So I'm going to make him take, uh, some burning damage from the burning ship. Five, still alive, barely. Uh, he dives into the water to, like, quench his, his flames, puts the saber in his teeth, and begins swimming towards you. Um, yep. The other boat, uh, the one with the sword, begins taking his oars and trying to turn it around to follow <laughs> you. The one with the crossbow stands, steadies himself, fires to at you. Okay. Uh, that is... Is it still plus eight? Yes, yes it is. Okay. Uh, with a 25 to hit you. That will do it. Alrighty, excellent. Uh, does he get special damage? He gets... Uh, please take nine points of damage, and is, uh, water walking a constitution say or a concentration spell? Let me double no. check, that's a great question. It just lasts for an hour. Yeah, because it's an hour-long spell, so I assume it's not. That'd be okay, pretty perfect. Crazy. Uh, so, uh, you get struck with this crossbow, these people begin swimming out towards you, you don't have to try to save to, to not sink into the ocean. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you do? Uh, that's kind of annoying. Um, let me see what spells I got here. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Nah, I'm gonna Guiding Bolt, the one with the crossbow. Um, right. I'm also gonna use my 30 feet of movement to move further away from them again. Okay. Uh, that's another d20 plus six, that's a 15. Uh, 15, it hits the crossbow because he doesn't have his uh, blade awesome. advantage. Yep. Uh, he takes another eight points of damage. He's also glowing, so I'll get advantage next Perfect. turn on him. Yes, yes, you will indeed. Uh, he takes eight points of damage. Oh, 
He begins glowing a brilliant light uh, yep. and steadies his bow at you. The one swimming begins swimming after you. His swim speed is slower than yours. He feels very bad about this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the boat begins making its way towards you. The boat is about as fast as you are, so it is closing okay. with you. Um, he's going to attempt to make an athletics check to essentially dash. Uh, with a nine. Uh, so he... No, with a 13. Uh, but he still does not successfully dash uh, towards you. Uh, the crossbow will steady his legs once again through the chopping waters. Uh, and he will take an attack with the bow. That's a hit. to hit you. Uh, and dealing another six points of damage. Okay. All right. What is your? What is you? What do you do next, Tom? <laughs> I just had a thought. Oh. All right. I'm gonna. Um. Well, I'm gonna. I'm a. Yeah. Okay. I. I'm gonna cast flaming sphere and just have it drop right on top of this rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom. This begins back. I, I wanted to like water. hit the crossbow guy specifically yeah. when it when it like falls down Casting on top of him. Casting the sphere of flame and dropping it on top of the <laughs> of the boat, chasing after him. You hear the screams of pain from the pirates as they can't save from this. They're on a boat. They're like, mm. ah! Please roll some damage as they are hit right. with your spear. Uh, it's two d six, so twenty. Uh, so they're going to take seven. Okay. Um, and then I assume the boat is probably going to catch fire from that. Absolutely. The boat is aflame. All right. And then with my with my 30 feet of movement, I'm going to kind of like make a wide berth and start circling around. Okay. So that I don't get caught by the swimming guy, but I also don't want to... Um, like, I want to force the boat to turn again. To okay. Keep you begin like doing a circle. The swimmer just like... <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> He's going to keep trying to swim after you, feeling very bad about his life choices up to this point. Mm -hmm. uh, the boat is on fire. The people inside of it are going to take... Go ahead and roll me a d6 damage for being on fire and in the boat. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's so hard to work on windows. There we go. Uh, take another five. Alrighty, they take five points of damage. They are screaming in pain. They don't really know how to shoot you through this flaming <laughs> sphere. Uh, there, there's a ball of fire surrounding the guy with the crossbow. Uh, he is going to... He's going to take up an oar as well. And the, the boat is going to try to just double time it away from the crossbow. I mean, away from the flaming sphere. So they just start okay. paddling. I mean, it's sitting in the boat, can. right? So I think I it moves it with the boat. it occupies a plate, like a point in space, right? Yeah, but I think it, like, if it sat on the ground and then the ground moved, I think the flaming sphere would move with it, right? Mm -hmm. my, my assumption was that it was like a physical object that, because when it, when it moves, it's described as rolling. Right, it doesn't float on the ground. Well, or they float attempt above it. to get away from it. Um, okay. Yeah, me... I mean, I can see them shaking it off. Yeah. That would make sense to me. I, I, I think they're going to try to get away from it. If it has a okay. physical form, right, at the very least, they're going to, like, try to shove it off the boat. Okay. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll give them that. They're going to shove it off the boat. Uh, they're going to have to, like, interact with the Flaming Sphere. So why don't you roll Flaming Sphere damage again? Uh, it's another seven. All right, they take another seven points of damage. There's much screaming and burning, and ah! And they shove this flaming sphere off the boat. They pick up their oars that are on fire uh, and begin rowing as fast away from you as possible. Away from me? Yes. Okay. Um, I see the guy swimming after me still. I'm just going to call out, do you want to talk now? No. <laughs> He's got a thing in his teeth. No. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. Yeah. What do you do? You, you have a, a chance to, to act. Okay. Well, if the rowboat is heading away from me, um, that's that's fine. They can keep going away. I'll make my thirty feet movement too, so the crossbow guy doesn't have an easy shot on me. Okay. Um, and just to be a dick, I'm gonna cast hold person on the guy who's swimming after me. Okay. Yeah, that's a <laughs> wisdom saving throw. Uh, yeah. Wisdom's not their bag, so that's a do. Yeah, no, he fails. He, he, uh, he fails. Do, he, does do, he does get to save repeatedly, so he might come too. You you cast Hold Person, and he just, like, yep. and begins sinking. 
Uh, and I'm, gonna, that, I'm gonna start walking back to shore and hope that that's enough of a distraction that for. That was gonna uh, be my. That was gonna be my question. Is what do you do next? As that you have chased off the the burning boat. Eventually, you see them dive out of their burning boat and begin swimming back towards, not towards shore actually, but they begin swimming out towards the big. The larger ship. ship. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to head back to shore. I'm not gonna go back where I came from. I want to uh, get a little ways away from the docks because I don't know if. Uh, saying I'm from the Duke of Balesport is necessarily going to fly in this case. So I'm going to I'm going to get out of there. As I'm going, I'll uh, I'll cure wounds myself a little bit. I think I've got two levels left. All right. Yeah. You cast cure wounds on yourself. You make your your way back out of the harbor via the ocean. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and and make your way back towards town on like the outskirts. Um, you kind of look around to see if anybody's chasing after you from the harbor and as of now it appears that there's nobody on your tail. Okay. Um, well, first off, I get 14 back. Nice. Uh, all right, so I will head probably to a to an inn, uh, or like a tavern in the Merchant's Quarter. Are you going back to the, the Salty Mask? Not, not the Salty Mask, because that's in a different <laughs> section. Um, I'm going to oh, go to yeah, one yeah. near, because they we met in the, the market, right? Right, right. I want to go somewhere where there's like a window with a view of the market so I can see if they come back that way, because I assume they're not going back to the manor at this point. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to trust them to get out of the Tom docks Lightbringer themselves. Tom Lightbringer posts himself up into the market, uh, and that's, where, that's what you do. Um, mm -hmm. So that brings us to Rose and Janmar and Millman. Um, is the plan to just dive in and do battle? Are we going to fight the Dock District? I was planning to <laughs> burn this building down, but sure, let's fight everybody first, <laughs> then burn this building down. Can you not give him ideas? Jammer would like to, <laughs> would like to <laughs> hopefully uh, at least get, like, look into these boxes to see what they're bringing in. Um, so he would help Meldarian at least. Are there boxes around here or are there are like, are they all stored, uh, stored in the back? You see in the room here. Wait, um, I would, n wait, no, I haven't looked in a box, right? They're all closed. I have no idea what they are, what they're shipping. You haven't looked in a box as of yet. Mm. Uh, these ones here on the table are open. Uh, all right, they what's are, we got? Yeah, we'll, we'll zoom in a little bit here. Uh, these these ones on the table are open uh, and and empty. They seem to have been emptied somewhere uh, at some other point in time. Um, Rose, you know that there are multiple types of boxes coming in. Um, mm -hmm. Some of them are just normal, just crates, uh, and it, you you suspect they aren't very important because you've been ordered basically to just whatever, just bring them into a warehouse somewhere and store them. There are some that have an insignia on them of a crashing wave. And the insignia of the crashing wave, those boxes have been treated specially. Hmm. I'm going to relay that to the other two. Okay. Can I also make a perception check for the incredible stench that's wafting over from the seaside, or... <laughs> <laughs> does after it, a, burn, like, does it smell like ash and hellfire, yeah, or is yeah, it like... It begins smelling like smoke uh, as it wafts in from the, the like, ocean side. Can you? S Where's Tom? Probably. I believe he's out on the on the bay here. I believe he may be sinking a ship. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not there to see it. <laughs> uh, th is this a window or a door? Can I look out of the window? If there's a window, is there a window here? Uh, so these little yellow kind of inserts are windows. This yeah, I'm I'm going to stick my head out of the window. The gaps are doors, like entrances. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, you you peer out of a window, and you see, um, you see this, right? This empty kind of corridor here, uh, looking at right. the warehouses. And I, could, I can't, like, look out of there into this, this I mean, direction. I mean, you can, like, step out and, and look across the bay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly, you know, open the door, have a look out. All right, you you open the door and look out across the bay, and sure enough, uh, I don't have the the ships here on the screen, but you <laughs> see a burning or uh, like paddle ship uh, that is is turning to to ash out in the bay, smoke <coughs> drifting back this way by the wind, uh, and you see uh, like little figures dotting the ocean as they're beginning to swim out towards the um, larger ship out uh, anchored in the bay. I take it he's I doing well. I think whatever we want to do, we got to do it quickly because I think there's a lot of people coming for us right now. I agree. Oh, we don't have much time. 
All right, let's go find these boxes. Crashing waves, is that <clears> correct? Have you seen any of these boxes, or are they stored elsewhere, Rose? Are they in the back? I think. Okay. You would know let's that. Go. Yeah, there's a there's a clutch of them in this warehouse. Okay, then yeah, let's. I would cast okay, on Meldarian. Yeah, and I'm gonna heal Meldarian before we walk. Oh, thank God. I currently have no actual health damage, so I can't take any heals. Um, but right. Um, is. Yeah. I mean, it did soak 31 points of damage, plus, right? Uh, I'm just gonna be like here, and I put a and I put a handful of berries into your hand, and I'll be like, I'm 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 really sorry. It's okay. I don't blame you. I'd hit me too sometimes. <laughs> so Very it's understanding one, seeker. One hit. Yeah, you you get ten, 10 HP if you want to. Yeah, I'll take it. Boom! I just smash them in my mouth. I wish I was sandbar. I'd enjoy this so much more. <laughs> All right, you heal up for a moment, enjoying the sweet berries uh, that Rose has given you. Uh, Gem, are you cast haste, you said? Yeah, on Meldarian. All right, Meldarian, you are hasted. You feel the rush of energy through you as the as the haste is laid upon you. All right, I put the hook sword away because I need to do more damage. I grab out my great sword and I just... You ready? Yes. And then you just see that look in my face and I rage and I just run into the room as fast as I can. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> you run into the room as fast as you can. Um... Go ahead and take yourself where you run to. Uh, I'm going to run straight there. <laughs> straight right. across the room. You run straight the there. And as you look uh, this direction, uh, mm -hmm. you find yourself looking at a room full of crates with some more people just setting them aside. There, there seems to be a, a small opening in the room here that I guess you can't really see. Uh, and th they are taking the crates uh, and look like they're preparing to open them up. Uh, and with that, uh, I believe you're probably going to roll initiative. Let us hold that off on the other side of a break. Uh, we'll take about five minutes and we'll come back and resolve what it is you're up to then. Uh, we'll see you in a few. We'll see you in five.